Hi everybody and welcome to this Gisra Torah. In this week's Pasha, Pasha's Kisava, we read about a mitzvah called Bikurim. Bikurim was a mitzvah where people used to bring their first fruits up to Jerusalem as a present to God and as a thanksgiving for the bounty and the plenty that he had given them. And so you bring up this basket of Bikurim and the Torah tells us, and you will come to the coin, that will be there in the Beis Amidish in those days. And you will give him this basket, and then you'll have to say a certain formula, something that we repeat on Seder night as well. And then you will thank HaKadosh Baruch Hu, thank God for what you've been given. And one of the strange things that is pointed out by Rashi is, you come to the coin, that will be there in those days. Well, who else are you going to go to? You can't go to a coin that was there a year ago, even yesterday. If he's not there today, he's not there. So who do you mean? You'll come to the coin that's there now. Was that as opposed to whom? And Rashi says, to tell you that you'll only have the coin that's there on that day which still sounds strange. And there's another part in the Torah where we say, in last week's passion, two weeks ago, where we say, you will come to the judge that was there in those days. And there, again, Rashi tells us, you might say, well, we used to have better judges. We used to have better Rabbonim. We used to have better Chazonim. People did things better in the olden days. They're just not good enough today. They just can't get the staff anymore. To which Rashi says that might be true. But ain't lecha shofet You can only work with a judge in your day. So Rabbi Yeruchim asked the question and he says, I understand that I can only work with a judge in my day, but what's Rashi telling me that I can only work with a Kohen in my day? I might be able to say, okay, there's no other Rabbonim out there. This is the best that there is. I'll have to deal with him. What is it telling me about the Kohen? And I think the understanding is the following. The Kohen is the man that gives you your experience in the Beis HaMikdash. Your entire experience about whether it was good or whether it was bad, whether you wanted to go to the Beis HaMikdash or not, was based on that Kohen. You came with your basket if he was friendly, welcoming, if he helped you through the whole process, then you wanted to come again. And if the fellow had a bad day and he was treating you badly as a result of his bad day or he didn't like you for whatever reason, then you had a bad experience. And sometimes a bad experience, we say, we blame the bad experience, we blame the whole thing, instead of blaming it on the people involved. We look at the experience, and we say, this is no good, etc., etc. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu is telling us, sometimes you'll have a better experience, sometimes you'll have a worse experience. You'll just have to work with the person that's there. Because our experiences oftentimes are things that we cannot actually dictate from afar. We can't say it's going to be like this or it's going to be like that. We can only realize our own attitude towards it and adjust our attitude to be correct in those situations. And this is really one of the things that I feel we've learned in Corona. Corona has thrown everybody a curveball. It's changed people's perception. It's changed people's lives, sometimes for the better, mostly for the worst. And people say, I didn't choose this experience, to which we say, yes, you're right. I didn't choose the experience. I didn't choose to shut down our shul. I would have loved to have kept our shul open. Of course, we shut it down because we had to for health reasons. But if you had asked me before, do I want to shut down my shul? I don't. I have to. Do I want to stay home with my children for six months? No, I'd like my children to go to school. I'd like myself to be able to go visit people, to be able to do my job the way I want to be able to do it, the way I've always done it. But just because that's what I want, that doesn't mean that's what I'm going to get. Hashem sent us Corona and I had to change around and I, as so many other people, had to pivot and do things differently. And now the question is, you only have the situation as it is. God has created a situation, He has put you in that situation. How will you deal with that situation? How will you handle it? Will you be upset? Will you be happy? Will you accept it? Will you thrive? Will you come apart? That's up to you. We have to realize that many times we cannot choose our experiences, but we can choose our attitude towards that experience. So yes, sometimes you'll show up and the Kohen won't be great, or the Rabbi won't be great, or today the Dominic wasn't good, or whatever it might be. But don't blame 
all those people for your experiences. Many experiences we're going to go through are not going to be the way we want them to be. Change your attitude. Have a positive attitude and embrace all the experiences that come your way. Wishing you all a very good Shabbos.